Greetings, Bitcoiners. My name is Shomari Prince, NYU Sterney. Like many of you, I discovered Bitcoin while searching for an alternative to the ridiculous fiat currency I was being forced to use at the time. I bought my first Bitcoins towards the end of 2012, but I spent the majority of 2013 studying the technicals, uh, trading them on IRC, and engaging with the community on Bitcoin Talk before I even considered using it in any sort of real world business application. From 2014 through about half of 2016, I manufactured and operated a Bitcoin ATM network out of Atlanta, Georgia. I took a very unwanted break from Bitcoin BTC in late 2016 after the Blockstream takeover. I then spent the next few years exploring building on the Ethereum network, particularly smart wallets. But as we all know, Ethereum currently can't scale for shit. So as of January of this year, I've been back working full time on Bitcoin BCH. Right now, I'm working on three projects all focus on core infrastructures. Causes Cash is a 100% open source, 100% non-custodial volunteer funding platform, continuing on the great work started by the Flipstarter team. It works very much like Patreon in enabling projects and teams to offer monthly subscriptions to their supporters. Regardless of which option you choose, all or nothing or recurring payments, the coin holder retains 100% control of their coins at all times. I started building Cash DevOps as a better way to organize support for builders. These are not your core devs, the ones managing no development, but the developers building services on top of the blockchain your content creators, your service providers, your peer-to-peer -peer merchants, those providing direct value that's attracting the new users onto the network. In addition to providing the platform itself, Cash DevOps currently operates several nodes, including Bitcoin Cash node, Mainnet, Testnet, and the new Testnet 4 and ScaleNet. We are also operating a Fulcrum server, um, which is a very popular replacement to the Electrum X. We're also running uh, BitDB, SLPDB, uh, and their accompanying socket services. We have a drop-in replacement uh, as a fallback to rest.bitcoin.com, as well as fallbacks to the Cash Shuffle and Cash Fusion servers. The, the goal is to build cooperation with other service providers uh, like Fountainhead.cash and Fullstack.cash, working together to improve the overall reliability of these services being built on top of Bitcoin. Neato.js is a software development kit. It was actually my first project when I joined the community. You may have seen the release of Neato.cash, a privacy web wallet back in January. And just a few months ago, I released a web app that allows you to do cash shuffle from directly within a web browser. First and foremost, I'd like to see the infrastructure for services dramatically improved. Bitcoin is in the unique position of being one of the only proof of work blockchains that can scale on layer one. And it's important that we use that to our advantage. Over the next year, I'd love to focus my time on SLP and expanding its utility to more use cases, especially in the booming sector of DeFi. Over the next three years, I probably will be focusing on getting my Bitcoin ATM business back online, but not like before. This time around, I would insist on having everything trustless and 100% non-custodial uh, or nothing at all. 
But today, I am most excited about working with the Bitcoin.com wallet team on bringing Cash Fusion to mobile, finally. And Roger's been super encouraging um, with that idea. And Corbin's team has been extremely cooperative in sharing their ideas and experiences and providing feedback on my own ideas. So I'm still very confident that we may get that done before the end of 2020. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to collaborating with more of the Bitcoin BCH community over the next few years and bringing this dream of a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash to every man, woman, and child in the world. And I just want to remind everyone that not your keys, not your coins, and that non-custodial is the way of the future. Cheers.